Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to remove spyware protection from your computer. Now, spyware protection is a false security client, also known as a rogue antivirus client, and it's a clone of several other out there, such as uh, Advanced Security Tool 2010, uh, Security Central, uh, XP Deluxe Protector, and about seven or eight other fake clients. And basically, it's the exact same as those. The only difference is uh, the name is different, and the actual traces themselves are slightly different. Now we're doing this on a Windows 7 based computer however it's going to be the exact same on Vista and uh, XP it's going to be a little different but the the only difference is in the file pass otherwise the same procedures apply. So the first thing you can do is go ahead and hold down the control shift escape key or control delete in uh, XP and so what that's going to do is it's going to bring up the task manager for you. Now some people may have this disabled if that's the case that's alright we're going to show you a couple extra tricks of actually getting here and uh, finding what it is. Now currently uh, through our testing and we've uh, installed this a couple times on a, on a few different systems we have found it to be called uh, defender.exe now what you're going to notice about that is it's taking up about 30k of our memory and that might be one way to uh, for you to actually go about finding it and then also by CPU usage so it's taking up more of the CPU usage than uh, most of the other uh, items that we have in there this time now you may or may not be able to have, get your antivirus client to run until you actually stop this threat and that's one of the first things we have to do is we actually have to kill off this executable and if you're able to open up the task manager great find that defender and just go ahead and hit end process otherwise the other uh, two other ways in which you can help find that let me go ahead and minimize a little bit of this is by the uh, icon on the desktop the security protection icon you can go ahead and right click on that select properties and under properties what you're going to see is you're actually going to see the actual executable there as well as the full file path of where that's hiding and another way in which you can actually find out where this is located is go to the windows start button and go ahead and just start typing in spyware and you're going to see it you already saw it over there spyware protection boom right there you can also do a search for it spyware protection and same thing properties and it'll show you the exact path on there now in this I instance it's actually going under the user the username app data roaming uh, I believe it will probably change it will probably be under local too as well besides just roaming so let me go ahead and copy that whole path in and so what we're going to see is we're going to have the defender right here and you're also going to notice that the icon is, is going to look like that so it's almost made to look like a windows icon but it's not now what we need to do is we need to stop this process from running if you're able to bring up the task manager great uh, that means you can just hit that end process and be done like we showed you a little earlier otherwise another way in which you can do it is actually right clicking on the file go ahead and hit rename just rename it whatever you want it doesn't matter now go ahead and reboot your computer reboot means turn it off turn it back on when you turn your computer back on so what's going to happen is uh, because this is renamed when it goes to try to start this executable it won't be able to find it because it's under a different name and then you can just browse right back down here and actually delete that file a few other ways you can do it is uh, by killing it off with the task manager hitting in process and then just removing it booting into safe mode and actually just deleting the file or logging in under another user's account uh, it seems to work well too as well and those are uh, five methods right there in which you can locate this file and actually remove it so you shouldn't have any problems and if you do have questions feel free to head over to the removevirus.org website and we'll help you out over there too uh, as far as uh, you're not quite done once this is removed let me go ahead and I'm going to stop this process from running. Defender.exe. In process. In process. Now that I have terminated it and stopped it from ru running, now I can delete it because it's no longer running. That's what you're going to want to do is go down and go to msconfig. Startup. And under the startup processes, you're going to see the actual registry key of this that we have to go in and delete. So here's spiral protection. It, this is another way in which you can locate the, the actual file. So we saw spiral protection and we see right there the user path. And then right here is the actual registry trace. So we have to go under the HK current user software Microsoft Windows current version run. We have to actually browse down there and remove the uh, defender.exe. Now once we deleted this actual defender.exe 
chances are we're, we're, we're good. This antivirus client, our fake rogue antivirus client is off our computer. At that time, you're going to want to run a full virus scan. Don't be dumb. Don't skip it. Uh, just because you're in infected with this one virus, chances are you're infected with multiple. And I'll tell you right now, like this one right here, the YLK.exe, that's what actually installed the Defender.exe, the spyware protection. So you have to run an antivirus client. We recommend uh, Spyware Doctor with Antivirus is a client I predominantly use to protect my systems at home. And it's a great client. It, it, uh, it blocks all future threats. Uh, of course, you would have to register it for, for that to happen. And then it does that. Uh, does a fantastic job at actually removing viruses and more importantly it'll let you know whether you're infected or not infected so I highly recommend running a scan with a uh, spire doctor uh, with antivirus and uh, you can download that from the removevirus.org website if you like uh, we also recommend um, onlinecomputerrepair.org it's a remote computer repair company they do a fantastic job at actually removing viruses from people's systems so if you're infected when you just want professional help or you just want to ensure that everything is done correctly you can go ahead and head on over to onlinecomputerrepair.org and they uh, can remove the threat for you there too as well uh, yes it does cost money um, because that is a professional service but it's a it's a great way to go and far cheaper than calling an in-home tech out so it's, uh, it's uh, again onlinecomputerrepair.org let's go ahead and finish this off then so now that I know the file path that I have to go I'm gonna go to the Windows Start button I'm going to go ahead and type in reg edit bring up the registry and I'm actually in that location already so just to show you that again it's going to be HK current user software Microsoft Windows current version run defender.exe so I see it right here so I'm just going to go ahead and delete yes and while I'm in there I see that we have the uh, tlk.exe and I know that's uh, an actual bad threat so I'm going to remove that there too as well now at this point in time you're going to want to go ahead and run that full virus scan uh, to ensure you, ha you have uh, nothing else on the system and you can also um, go ahead and remove some of the links on the desktop now this is benign uh, and it's benign because it, the executables delete and this simply links to the executable so it can't actually do any harm anymore but still I'm just going to delete that trace and I'm going to delete that one there. And, uh, and most antivirus clients should be able to pick this up, especially after uh, another week or so. This video is older than a week, then uh, definitely your antivirus client should have been able to pick this up and remove it. So if you have protection and you got infected with this client, it means the protection you have uh, is not good enough. Uh, if it's a free client, that's why you got infected because most free clients don't offer upfront protection and also most free clients the ones that actually do have some of that upfront protection their databases are old and so it's just it, it's it's not reliable enough in this day and age you actually need to pay for antivirus client and that's my professional opinion uh, ask a hundred experts out there and you'll get some that'll still say oh no you can use a free client and be good but it, it's getting fewer and fewer uh, um, each and every year more and more people are coming over to the side saying yes you actually should pay for protection uh, to be properly protected so again you can go ahead and head on over to the movevirus.org website uh, we'll have their manual guide there and it should help to answer all your questions and uh, that is it if you have a question ask it over there if you ask it on any social network I'm not going to answer it so that's it take care have a good day